Hey, Master Geo here with a brand new toy review. Today we'll be taking a look at Mezco Toys G.I. Joe 1-12 to Collective Destro. I'm a lifelong G.I. Joe fan, so looking forward to diving into this. It's the first one, I'm pretty sure, from this series. And uh, the only one I got so far, but let's go. First off, here's the packaging. As uh, you long-time G.I. Joe fans will recognize, this is the artwork from the classic toy. On the side, we've got his name, Destro, and the Cobra Insignia, as well as the 1 to 12 Collective. The back, you can see a full picture of that classic Destro image. And at the bottom, you can, uh, oh, you can actually notice that the artwork is continued. That's cool. All right, let's go and open up this bad boy up. So these are the contents inside the box. Um, you'll see the uh, figure here with all of its accessories, of which there is quite a bit. And this is something I don't I haven't seen in uh, any of my past uh, 1 to 12 collectives. It's a little sheet with some instructions and guides, I guess, as to the accessories. Uh, and plus it tells you how to replace the battery, or tells you about the battery if it needs to be replaced. So here we got Destro out of the box. He, as soon as I saw him, I am absolutely blown away at how awesome he looks. All right, so we've got the typical articulation with one to 12, head turns. It's in, not going to turn fully because of the collar. So the arm only swivels up to a certain point both sides due to the fabric and stopping it from doing a complete 360. I don't want to push it any further because I obviously don't want to ruin the figure. You've got elbow joints on both sides. You've got full wrist articulation, so they turn 360. You can, of course, open up those shoulders. You've got some waist articulation, but not much. Um, you've got ab, a little bit of an ab crunch. Legs and splay open. Knee. Uh, you can lift the legs, close them, knees, ankles are a little stiff, probably due to the thickness of the boot. And we can already see a lot of the detail in the figure. Here's um, one of his holsters. I should note that these wristbands, uh, wrist gauntlets, I'm sorry, they can uh, come off. And uh, actually when I uh, was taking them out, this one had fallen off. So you want to make sure it's nice and tight in there. And you can also see that this one opens up to reveal that. And let's go ahead and take a look at some of his accessories. So one of the first things we're going to put on are, is his necklace. Now you're going to have to pop off that head and pop it back in to get it, but of course this is uh, one of Destro's classic accessories, although of course if you remember in the original figure it was an accessory, it was already part of the figure, so not an actual necklace but a detail in the old figure, but here it's an actual necklace. So of course the figure comes with closed fists already put on and we get a whole bunch of different types of fists for both sets of for both hands so let's go and try all of them out so here is one of the hands this is a trigger finger and we're going to use this gun to test it out it's a pretty cool looking gun too meanwhile you've got a semi open hand for the right side one thing I'll tell you is the gauntlets keep falling off, which is somewhat annoying. Maybe more than somewhat. 
So we also have a trigger finger for the right hand and a pointed finger, so we can do some cool poses with this one. Maybe have him leading Cobra into battle against the Joes. You can also do double fisted, so trigger hands, so maybe for some John Woo style shooting maybe. This also gives us a perfect chance to look at the other rifle, or I should say the rifle. This assault weapon looks pretty cool and massive. We'll take a look at both guns in a bit. A closer look, I might say. Then we've got two sets of open hands. And in case you're wondering, yes, those are my doggies that are hanging out with me while I do this toy review. Finally, we have two grasping hand sets, non-trigger finger. These are probably best for carrying his attache suitcase. So, right now, why don't we take a look at, the fig at all of the figure itself. Love the face design, the chrome color. There's a nice chrome feel, very reflective. You can see all of the details on his chest, of course, on, this, on the uh, collar. I love the little lot details on the back and the belt. And the boots look really cool. This is really an amazing, amazing looking figure. As uh, Destro has always been one of my favorite characters. Uh, I couldn't be happier. This is a great addition for any, any G.I. Joe fan. So, let's take a look at that gun. The smaller gun is its really cool. Uh, of course, you know, Destro is an arms dealer, so he would have uh, really high-tech and uh, great weapons. As, well, that's his role in Cobra. He is the one who fun... Who, sells Cobra all of the weapons they use in their, in their battles with G.I. Joe. Uh, I love the rifle. It looks big and badass. Again, great detail. I love the little, like, screws, nuts and bolts that you see. So, the holster is removable. And you can interchange where you can put the gun. You get an extra one that's shaped. Whoops. Differently. To change it, you will have to take off the holster and then just kind of snap it back in. So I gotta say, changing the holsters, it's somewhat cumbersome but the gun slides right back in and unfortunately as I said it's kind of cumbersome and the holster doesn't stay in place you'll have to push it a little harder um, I guess the holsters are really up to you which one you like the best um, for now let's go back and stick with the one that actually came with the figure on the figure I should say so, using one of the trigger fingers and one of the open hands, you can get a pretty cool pose on that large rifle from that I showed you guys before. And I should say that uh, going back to putting the holster together was kind of uh, annoying. But, you know, once it's there, it looks cool, so... Yeah, let's... So, of course, as any G.I. Joe fan will know, the gauntlets have rocket launchers, which are one of the coolest things about Destro, at least I always thought it was ever since I was a kid. And what's really awesome is you get an alternate piece so that you can get a missile shooting blaster effect. We're going to put that piece on, but first let's look at how cool it is. I love the color. It's a little 
re it's reflective and kind of transparent. So let's uh, let's switch them out. And here we go with them on. Uh oh, GI Joe is in deep trouble now. Look how awesome this looks on the figure. I think this is one of my favorite accessories. So aside from the face that it comes with, which is I guess kind of a scowly face, we've got a regular looking face and a grinning face which is really really cool hmm, I like this one a lot all right let's pop off both and see how they both look on the figure here we've got that regular face looks cool looks cool you also get interchangeable clips extra you get two extra ones so say this bigger one is clearly for the rifle which you can slide right back in and of course I like the bullet details in the both of the extra clips So now we're going to look at the attaché case that comes with it and what promises to be one of the toy's coolest features. Again, great detail. You can snap it open, and you'll see a Cobra insignia inside and you've got some weapons here. So when you take this off, you're going to go in here where the batteries which are included will go so we're going to put the bat I'm going to put the batteries in and then we're going to check out the light up feature so you're going to have to slide the battery in which at first I was a little tepid and trivialacious trivialacious careful, whatever, of sliding it in, worrying I'll break it. But once it goes in, it's in, and it's pretty snug, so the batteries won't come out. You're going to put the cover back on. And you're going to realize that there's a little on-off switch. So as I said, it's got a little on-off switch here. Now, you're going to have to make sure that it's nice and tight. Otherwise, the attaché case won't light up. And now that it is, you can see the energy lighting up. It looks very cool. But again, you're going to have to press down a little because apparently it might be a little loose. So I only just realized this right now. The attaché case, you can open it up and you get a screen and keyboards for him to use. Pretty cool. Just another added factor to make this an awesome, awesome toy. And so one of the last pieces we're going to be looking at is the alternate atta attachment for the attache case, which features a rifle that you can put together. This is, according to the instruction manual, a modular submachine gun. So I've taken out all the little pieces of the rifle and as you can see, you're going to have to follow the instructions to put it together. When we come back, I'll show you what the rifle, the submachine gun, looks when it's all set and put together. So this is the rifle put together. Um, this is Tony. Apparently he's... Nope. Yeah, Tony was apparently very uh, interested in this. Uh, this is a cool rifle. 
or submachine gun once again, sorry. And you get two different uh, bullet stocking stocks. You get a smaller one and you get this lar longer one. I think this one's a cooler one. So here it is with that cooler, longer um, bullet uh, stocks, whatever it's called. So here's Destro holding that submachine gun. I'm using one of the trigger fingers and one of the holding hands to hold a double fit, double both his hands. It looks pretty cool. So of course you can switch between the energy weapon bomb, whatever it is, and the submachine gun as to which one you want him to be carrying. Either one works, either one looks cool. I guess I have a preference for that just because of the whole light-up feature. And here we got Destro holding that attache case. I will say this, it opens up very easily, so just keep that in mind. I had to close it a couple of times before I actually shot this part of the video. Of course, we get the typical 112 accessory of a stand. This one is, of course, a Cobra Insignia. And uh, I like this one a lot. It looks great. And, of course, as always, we also get that holder so you can pose them in crazier positions. Uh, I mean, he's not a character that would be flying or anything, but it's still cool to have. And there you have it. The 1 to 12 collective G.I. Joe Destro from Mezco Toys. Now, I have a couple of small issues, mostly with putting and taking off accessories, and of course some of the more limited posability and the uh, Shoulder area, but other than that, amazing, amazing figure. Definitely the be-all and all of uh, Destro's that I've ever seen. Um, it, it's a great high-end toy, and if you're a fellow G.I. Joe fan, particularly if you're a fellow fan of Destro, one of the best characters in G.I. Joe, whether it's in the comic and even... where it's in the cartoon, or even more so in the comic, where he was always portrayed as a honorable villain... Uh, this is a definite, definite must-have. The weapons are cool, uh, and he just looks awesome. He looks great displayed. All right, guys, I definitely recommend you getting him. He came in the mail recently for me, so he's been shipping out now. Hopefully you guys will be able to score one of him and add him to your collection. All right, man, this is Master Geo, telling, hoping you all the best, and rock on, man. Bye.